We are now going to take the number line picture and work with subtraction. Students often want to move quickly through the section because they feel they already know how to do subtraction. However, taking the time to think through things will prepare you to deal with negative numbers a few sections from now. When performing subtraction on the number line, the subtraction step moves in the opposite direction. Example, compute 9 minus 4 using a number line. We will start off by drawing the number line. The calculation for subtraction begins at 0 just as addition. We start at 0 and move 9 to the right. And then to subtract 4, we move 4 to the left. We stop at 5, and so the answer is 5. 9 minus 4 equals 5. Notice that the arrow to the left is shifted slightly above the arrow moving to the right. This way it is easy to distinguish between the two different motions. Just as with addition, it is sometimes convenient to move in increments larger than one. The step size that we use depends on the problem that we've been given. Example, compute 110 minus 70 using a number line. Your intuition should kick in and suggest that multiples of 10 is the right choice. We start at 0, move 110 to the right, and then 70 to the left. The result is 40. 110 minus 70 equals 40. Depending on how comfortable you are with arithmetic, you may still need to count out these steps. However, it will be important that you can do these calculations mentally. We will be practicing these calculations over the next few sections. If you need more practice, you can always create or buy or find flashcards online. The goal is for you to develop the automatic recall of addition and subtraction facts. That means that the answers appear in your head instantly without you having to think about it, much in the same way that if you're asked what your name is or your phone number or your address is, you don't have to stop and think about it. It's just there. The best way to develop automatic recall is simply practice and repetitions.